EA Sports Network's NFL Quick Highlights are presented by Vapid Motor Company. Buy a Vapid today. Rams, Cardinals. Both of these teams had different stories coming into this one as the Rams came in with a two-game winning streak while the Cardinals were looking just for their second win as Carson Palmer and the Cardinals would take the field first. Palmer came in with no touchdowns on the season. That would change quickly as on second and seven, he'll start things off by finding Michael Floyd for the reception to get into Rams territory. Then after a sack on first down on third and 13, Palmer would back up the pass with lots of time, would lob it up to Jerome Brown for the touchdown. That's a 45 yard reception in Carson Palmer's first passing TD of the season. That would make it seven nothing Cardinals. Then after a three and out for the Rams, the Cardinals continued to play great as they would find John Brown for the reception down to the 44 yard line. Then later on the, in the drive, it will be Steven Jackson getting the ball here on first and 10 and breaking a few tackles as he would go off to the races and inside the five yard line to the two as that would set this up on two plays later. It will be Stephon Taylor, the former Stanford running back getting the ball from Carson Palmer as he rushes it into the end zone for a touchdown. That would make it 14 unanswered points for the Cardinals. Question is, how would the Rams respond? They would respond quickly as they find Jared Cook up the middle, and Cook would go off to the races inside the 20 and get brought down at the 14 yard line, and that would set up a field goal for the Rams. As the Cardinals would take the field next on third and 17, Palmer would get picked off. That is TJ McDonald with the interception on the flag as well, as the Rams would get the ball quickly. On second and 10 though, Foles would back up the pass on the play action and he'll find Brian Quick for a few yard reception for 14 yards. At this point, he already had one interception. Then on first and 20, he would back up the pass once again, hoping to find somebody, but he would get sacked instead. That would be Alex Okafor with the sack, his first of the season. And then on third and 29, with lots of pressure, lobbing it up deep, he would get picked off. That would be his second interception of the game. That one by Buchanan. As the Cardinals were dominating at this point, the Rams needed to get something to go. They would find something to go, though, as they would find Kenny Britt to get down to the 23-yard line. Then a few plays later on first and 10 still, Foles would back up the pass once again, roll to his right, and walk into another sack by Calias Campbell. And Campbell would continue to bring the pressure as on third and 17, he would push an offensive lineman over and get his second sack of the season. And just like that, it will be 14 to six Cardinals after one half a play as they were dominating in this one with every category being led by them. In the second half, the Cardinals continued to dominate as Carson Palmer would start things off by scrambling into Rams territory. At this point, he would have more than 40 yards rushing on the rush to the 42 yard line. Then later on in the drive, Stefan Taylor would get the ball here and run this into the red zone down to the 17 yard line. At this point, it was a domination game as that would set up this. The Cardinals would go for a field goal from the nine yard line to put themselves up 17 to six with 6.33 to go in the third quarter. After the Rams scored an air field goal, Carson Palmer would back up to pass again and find a wide open receiver, and that is Jerron Brown again. And Brown would go off to the races to the end zone for a touchdown, a big time touchdown for more than 70 yards. How would the Rams respond? They would counter with a good drive as Brian Quick would catch that pass and push forward down to the 13 yard line. At this point, Foles was just 12 of 28 for 219 yards. Then on first and 10, Foles would back up the pass and find Tavon Austin. And Austin would get his fourth receiving touchdown of the season. And the former West Virginia University wide receiver puts them into the end zone. Down 11 at this point. Nick Foles would get picked off by Tyron Matthew. The former LSU defensive player gets the interception. Now after the interception, the Cardinals would go on a drive as Carson Palmer would back up on third and 20 and seal off the drive by finding John Brown for a 44-yard touchdown reception to give the Cardinals a 34-16 lead. And with five minutes to go, Nick Foles was choking as he would find Patrick Peterson for an interception. Nick Foles was not in his rhythm in this one. 
As on first and 10 inside the six with two minutes to go, he needs to get a touchdown here. When he has a tip pass going to Stepman Bailey and Patrick Peterson gets his second interception of the day to seal things for the Arizona Cardinals as the St. Louis Rams lose this one 34 to 16. It was a tough one for Foles as he had the most interceptions in his career in a game with five interceptions.